Hi guys, this is Alistair from Prayas Academy and uh, we are actually just going to take a very quick look at uh, a software uh, called as Factory IO. Now this is a paid software but uh, I am using the free version currently and you do require a real PLC to run it, right? So I have my real PLC connected over Ethernet, right? So my Delta PLC kit is connected to this and uh, we're just going to see uh, how we can program this right so factory io is a 3d simulation software which allows you to program um, different machines right and this is their simplest example which is uh, from a to b right and uh, we can see something that uh, there is a there is a conveyor here there is a single output and there is a single input right so if we look a little closer we can see that there's a motor attached to this conveyor and this sensor seems to be a form of reflective sensor, right? So the first thing which we need to notice is if you look at the sensor here, you will see that the sensor is currently giving us an on signal, right? And this is what we call as a normally closed sensor, right? Without any object sensing, it is giving us a signal over here. So if I actually take this object and I pass it in front of the sensor, you will see that it goes off, right? So remember that whenever you have sensors in the real world, they are either electrically wired to be NO sensors or NC sensors, right? So right now we have this sensor to be electrically wired to be an NC sensor, right? Now this uh, example is very, very simple. Uh, I'm going to show you what this looks like without any code. So if I actually run this conveyor, We can see that the box has fallen down, right? And that's not what we want, right? We want the box to actually stop at the sensor. So this 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 example is very very simple. Uh, it's basically running the conveyor till you reach the sensor, right? That is your whole example. So I'm first going to connect my PLC here. Okay, I'm connecting my PLC, and uh, I'll have to write some code over here, right? Now uh, to write some code, the first thing which I need to know is that I'm actually taking this sensor value. Okay, the value of the sensor in my memory bits of my Delta PLC, right? So I'm not taking it in my inputs, which is my X0, X1, X2. I am taking it in my memory bits, right? Uh, the reason for this is that uh, it, is, uh, it is good practice uh, to actually take the sensor value in memory bits. Uh, generally, we use our inputs for real inputs connected on field, right? And uh, we just actually want this software to write the value of the sensor into some location of my PLC. So I've selected the M0 memory bit, right? So uh, let me first create uh, the program over here. So I'm going to I'm going to write my first contact of M0, and this is my sensor, right? This is my sensor M0, and I'm actually going to just uh, you know turn on the conveyor directly using a contact and this is just my plain conveyor right so this is the program which is actually which we are actually going to use to run this right so if I download this to my PLC you will see by default that a value a positive value is going to come into this M0 you can already see that it's come here and the simulation has started and you can see that as soon as it touches the sensor, the Y0 conveyor goes off. Okay, so I'm just going to run this again. We can see that because the sensor is an NC sensor, it is turning on my output of my conveyor, right? And because it's an NC sensor, when the object gets sensed here, the conveyor is going to turn off. This signal is going to cut over here, right? So let's just try that again. And here we go. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed learning about this 3D simulation. Uh, I'll see you 